deal with the after infertility guilt. I have my miracle baby at home, but I still experience guilt seeing my fellow TTC sisters in their wake. I really don't like the word guilt. <laughs> and it's not because I don't suffer from it sometimes. I just, I just hate that it's an attack. Because we are all for each other. When you are a Christian, that's where your heart position stays forever. When the Lord comes in and just creates this new life for you and you have a new life in him, you are championing everybody around you to know him more, to know him through you and your actions and everything. And so it's no different um, when you go through infertility. So yes, I do have a miracle baby. She's six. And my heart bleeds for those around me who haven't had their children yet. But that doesn't mean that I need to feel guilty of the promise of my life because I didn't steal it from anyone. No one, my friend didn't get robbed because they don't have theirs now. It's saying, Lord, do it again. Get the testimony of my life and spread it to whoever needs it. And, and how I um, practically do that, I guess, is just saying, um, Praying with my daughter for my friends who don't have their baby so that she knows that how much of a miracle she is. And then also every chance that she gets, she sees them and she knows I have it in my brain because every night we pray for Aunt Caroline. We pray for baby James's siblings to come. We pray for Jessica and her siblings to come from Ada and Selah and Micah. And so it's just, it's, it's this thing that you create and it's this culture kind of that you create for them to live in. And so I hope that answers that question. <laughs> so good. Can I add in, and I'm sitting up here and I don't have children yet, but I think it's part of it's renewing your mind too. Okay. Why am I feeling guilty? What is the root of the guilt and processing that with the Lord and then figuring out, okay, is this an attack from the enemy, which most likely it is, even though there's maybe something else that needs to be healed in your heart and renewing your mind with the truth and really just saying, no, enemy, you will not steal the joy that God has given me and birthed a miracle in me. And we're going to celebrate this and we are going to still believe with our friends. And so I just think the enemy is such a liar and he's so evil and he's so mean and Yes, that's my encouragement. I love that you said joy because he wants to steal every fruit of the spirit that you have. Whether it's your peace, your joy, your love, all nine of them. He wants to steal every single one of them, whatever chance he can get. So remember that fruit is in you. It's not his to have. So good. 